afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Titans Gym here on the campus of Nashua North High School. I'm Tom King along with Rich McDonough. And Rich, we are watching one of the most watched events in the history of ETV. I agree. I know it. It is. It's because coming. I have the numbers. I have, to, I have to look up the text. I have the numbers. It, it's. We are hoping that this creates interest for a, a a event we televised years ago that could reach a million views. This is the City Middle School Basketball Tournament, the City Finals. Today we have the girls' final. It is going to be Elm Street, the Elm Street Eagles, against St. Christopher, or otherwise known as the National Catholic Regional Team. And it's going to be a fun event. I mean, this is, these are the building blocks, right? They are. For high school basketball in the city of Nashua. And I'll tell you what, the building blocks for varsity ball in north and south are down. The numbers are down. So this is where the interest is created, right here. And this is where some of the talent is. Now, given the size of some of the benches that I saw, hopefully we got some more building blocks coming. And I think doing this fifth quarter format offers the younger players the chance to see the big stage and the lights. The, the high school coaches are here, and uh, I think that's the kind of transformational move uh, well, they're looking for. We just heard, uh, I just heard Tim O'Neill talking with our producer, Pete Johnson, about how uh, they're going to do the fifth quarter first, and then the regular four quarters after that. Right. So the fifth quarter is the kids that are reserves that don't play as much and it won't count towards the final score. Um, it's interesting. I, I don't, I wanted some confirmation on that. I'm not sure that that's what they're doing. So. Um, well, St. Christopher, you know, Catholic school, will get you some confirmation. Yeah, well, yeah exactly, <laughs> exactly. So we'll wait and see how this is. But Tom, do you know the uh, Jeopardy question He's of the like, night? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'd start these kids, wouldn't you? Yeah, the are, but that 2017 video. Uh, of the city championship. That's the one. 950,000 right. views. Right. We plus. want to get to a million with that if this creates the interest for that and then get this one way up there. I think Michael of McDonough course. was responsible for a thousand of those That's views. good. That's good. Who did, who did he play for? Which school? Uh, he was Hollis Brooklyn. Hollis Brooklyn. Yeah. Oh, okay. But we played all these guys. Right. Yep. Good to be with you, Tom. Good to be with you, Rich. So, uh, so here's our fifth quarter. Right. Elm Street is in the red and white, the white with red trim, and St. Chris is with the dark uniforms. So you want to see at this level, are we running the offense? Are we doing, uh, you know, what the coach would like? Yeah, which coach are we talking about? That's <laughs> well, the question. Coach they, Tave for right, now. Right, you know. So oh, Coach Tave knows how to run an offense. He knows how to run a defense. And defense, I think, of Bailiwick. That's for sure. No matter what, I mean, he could be a defensive fencing coach. Evelyn Hebert took a shot for Elm Street, went up no good. So yeah, this is the fifth quarter. So these these games, these points, I don't believe count. Right. And I and saw a the layup uh, right there for St. Chris. Yeah, that's Number Tanisha 12. Patel. Yep. I saw the fifth quarter in the girls' game earlier, and there are some numbers who are not on the roster, so forgive us if we miss one. Yeah, it's going to happen. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll tell you what, it's a big crowd underneath that basket, isn't it? It's awesome. Good Lord. This now, here's a tall girl bringing the ball up for St. Chris. So there's some size, and there's a turnover. Now she's got it right in the middle. Yeah, that's Alana Small, yeah. not appropriately named. All right, you've got Alana Small. I've got for St. Chris, number 14 is Chloe Oh, I Knapp. was looking wrong one. Chloe Knapp. We got a booklet, Chloe of, Knapp. We got a booklet of about 18 rosters in here. So. And the shot is no good, and here comes Elm Street right down the floor. Once the once the, the main event starts, Rich McDonough, I'll let you take it. Okay. Because I'm going to try to shoot some photos here and there. The Swiss Army knife and see of the Nashua Telegraph. Yeah. Right. yeah. 
been an interesting January, that's for sure. Yeah. We finally have a winter wonderland out there. It felt like it was the middle of November for quite a while, which I'm not complaining about. I'd rather have that than the winter wonderland we have right now. Shot is up no good. I'm a snow nut. No, are you really? No, um, I, I could go without it all year round. All right, so Juliana Casista is Cassista. running the ball up, up court. And Evelyn Hebert really kind of functioning as the point guard at this moment. Getting some good defense there. Drive in the lane, Emily, Emily Smith. Yeah, she very nice, good turn once she caught it, uh, looked it in, right. caught it, set her feet, and yep. wheeled around and drew contact. That fundamentals right there. But you know who makes out on a day like this? Who? The concession stand. There's a lot of people here. They have a couple of my bucks over there. Yeah, they, yep. uh, do they? <laughs> they do. <laughs> there are a lot of people here. Emery Shot. Smith missing the first one. First three free throw, no good. Now see if it's a fifth quarter. I would do it running time if, if I were, if this is the format that they want to use. Avery DeHoyos checks in for Elm Street. Oh, nice pass. Chloe Knapp with the chin up, looking in. But look at a great job to get back on defense. And then the shot is good there by, well, we, there She's we go. Number we 20, have, yeah, not on the roster. Not on the roster. So. But nice job. Yep. But really, that all started with Chloe Knapp with the chin up, looking up, and seeing the floor very well. Coach of St. Christopher's is Scott Purcell, assisted by Andrew Schreiner, and assistant coach Nate Goulet, who said hello to me on the way in. Nate Goulet is former Nashua High School baseball player. Chloe standout. Knapp with a good offensive rebound there and then draws a foul, Nate Goulet, former which Nashua, turns it over. Nate Goulet, former Nashua High School baseball standout, former Daniel Webster College coach, and also coached down in Division I. TK, affectionately known as the TKpedia. Driving the lane hey, and how putting about that? it in. What a drive right there by number four, Evelyn Hebert. I like her. She's a uh, fireball. Dynamite comes in a small package there. Of course, Elm Street is coached by the former Bishop Girton assistant coach, Kyle Tave. All right, Herbert uh, Hebert running up the court, moves to the right side, moves five boards to her left, but getting good defensive pressure from Ellie Woodward. Good interior defense right there by yeah, St. Chris. Good defense, patient. But Smith uh, gets to the lane and draws another foul. She's quite good at it. Uh, not, excuse me, that was uh, Hebert again. Four to two in favor of St. Chris. And again, for those tuning in, it's a fifth quarter being played first to get your reserves uh, some city championship exposure. I think it's a good building block and it will not count toward the main game. As far as we know. As far as we know. <laughs> but it counts for the kids. As John Thompson the third I, I told me once, the kids always know the score. I, I won't be convinced until we see the numbers on the board go to zero at the end of the quarter. All right. Oh, nice move. That was it. She traveled, but uh, the instinct is good. And again, this is what the coaches are looking for. Who's got the instincts? Are the building blocks starting to fall into place, right? Well, you probably guess that most of these kids played mini basketball. Oh, yeah. Right? Probably guess they mostly did that. That's some fast guards for Elm Street. I agree. Emory Smith. Good feet, great feet. Now, yeah, nice interception. Right, let's see the transition game now for St. Chris. Up, they hold up. It's Tanisha Patel stepping into that passing lane. Terrific. You like seeing that as a D coach. Yeah. 
Nice bounce pass. How did that bounce pass get all the way through? We got a seeing eye ball, Tom. That's incredible. See, I hate bounce passes. There's I think another travel. I think bounce passes are turnovers waiting to happen. Number 13, Libby Mello with the travel at the top of the key. Now she traveled earlier too, didn't she? She's the one. Who's she got did. The, she's got the good moves. She's got she the needs, good instincts. Needs to <laughs> needs to learn how to put the ball on the floor. You know, That's, you just get a hold of your feet eventually. Yep. That's why we do 40,000 reps. They're running a bit of weave at the top here. Smith handling the ball well, she gives it over shoot. to Hebert. Front rims it. And Libby Mello, number 13, with the rebound and brings it up the court. Two minutes left to play in oh. the fifth quarter. Well, there's oh, a, there's there are steal. fast guards at the top for Elm Street wreaking havoc. Okay, you know what I don't see here, though? Avery DeHoyos with what, the miss. What is a staple in high school girls basketball, in high school girls basketball? The full court press. The full court press. Discouraged at the middle school level. I would, I would imagine it is right. Yeah, even Coach so, K is not a fan. So of that the, kids don't get the screw. They're not. He's not a fan of the zone or full court press uh, at the until you get to high school. Yep. There's just too many fundamentals to uh, to teach people that get missed when you have to combat a zone. Right. You're right. Oh, thought that lane was open. She took two steps too. Shot looked good. Nope. A good release by Hebert. In and out. Rebound comes down to number 31. We got, a minute. It brings we got a minute left in the fifth quarter. Fifth quarter. Inside shot. Hey. Good. I don't good. know what was fifth quarter about that. That was a good post play, good move to turn around and shoot. Yep, Libby got to the top of the key, squared her hips up, and it was a good release. Got some backboard. I don't think she called it, though, the backboard. Right. <laughs> that makes it. 6-2 uh, with 56 but seconds left. But you can left. tell. Look at the kids that are on the bench for Elm Street. These are your starters. This is, this yeah. is pretty much what they're doing. But they're all smiling. Yep. Enjoying watching their uh, teammates. You know what? You know how I know they're the starters? They're tall. They're tall. Look at these kids. They're athletic. Look at these kids. Incredible. Evi Otaka bringing it in. And then Emery Smith bringing it up. She looks down the key, looks left to Otaka. Juliana Casista gets the ball at the top and kind of that little mini weave they're doing, Tom. And Casista launches, Ooh. thought it had a chance. Yeah, we haven't seen anybody take any three pointers in this, have we? They have them in middle school? Uh, yeah. All right. Driving the lane. Smith is a good runner out there. I think uh, the coach is going to be looking for her next season for sure. Who knows? Nine seconds left in the fifth quarter, and that is true. They, this will not count towards the score. You can tell by the way they're operating here. Oh, and that'll do it. And it messes everything there. Yep. The that is it for the fifth quarter. Kids got some work in. Scores do go back to zero. Let's see if they do it on the scoreboard. Yes, they do for and one there side, we are. and they do. So we are going to start the actual championship game in just a few moments. So, so when I first came to New Hampshire, one of the first things I covered as the Derry News Sports Center was Hood Junior High in Derry. Is it? Is it still? Is it still there? I feel like. They were, There's they were, your Jeopardy question of the they, night. They were they were a dynamo. They had some good players for that age group, and they played in the Tri County League. Okay. Which I know still exists. It I've does. Seen, yeah. And they were they were in the Tri County League, and uh, it was pretty good. Pretty good basketball. All right, we are ready to start. Here we go, Tom. Take it away, Rich McDonough. M main event. The main event. Carolyn Goulet is at the point. You'll be hearing that name a lot today, right, Co <laughs> Tom? <laughs> Number 11. Yeah, see, now I know we're in the main event because the ref is right in my way. I can't see anything. Yeah. Number two is Gianna Maffei. Haley McGowan is zero. And Kathleen Schreiner, number 22, are your starters for St. Christopher's. 
That's Nana de Los Angeles. See, Chris gets the ball back. Is that the greatest name in the tournament? Uh. Nana de Los Angeles. Number 10. Like Anya Challenger, whose brother uh, played a great game. Uh, I like her chief rival, De La San Diego. Yeah. <laughs> That's where I'd rather be right now. I used to live there. Did you really? Ah. Uh, what are you I moved doing to here? New Hampshire. What are you doing here? I lived in La Jolla. Yeah, what are you doing here? <laughs> I love it here. Why don't you stay there? Expensive city, though. Expensive area. Guharu Tanaka nice is number 33 for Elm Street. Nice steal by St. Chris. Yep, Kathleen Schreiner She's moving got, the ball. Look at her reach on her. She's got a long arm. Long. She is long and A lot lead. of length there. And a strong athlete. Shot is up. No good. Ricochets, De Los Angeles comes down with the ball and runs the right side of the floor. It's under seven minutes now. Oh, oh look at shot. that scoop. She gets under the armpit. De Los Angeles, what a great scoop shot. That's a natural. As Billy Rafter would say, the kiss. I don't off even the think that, that wasn't off the glass. That went right in. Carolyn Goulet br runs it into the key, backs it out, and they move it out to the top, outside the top of the key. And that's Haley McGowan with a big bucket, ties it up at two with 6.30. Not a three, though. It looked like it was close. What yeah, was she should have cut her toenails this morning. All of a she would have had a three-pointer. <laughs> All of a sudden, we've got some long-range jumpers going on here. As Elm Street tries one, it doesn't go. Oh, wide open underneath, but she doesn't see it. There's their spread offense again. You get Lily Small at the top of the key for St. Christopher. And right to her, can't it ricochets off her palms and right into the ready hands of number 33, Kahuru uh, Tanaka. Six minutes in the first. Post play. And she posts up. The player who should be posting up in this tournament and could probably score a ton of points is Kathleen Schreiner. Schreiner. Because she has got long arms and she is the tallest player, I think, right now on the floor. Well, look at this. Ooh, there's a we got Joel Primo. Oh, look at that. Quick hook. Joel Primo. Quick hook from the foul line that she thought was on target. I did too. Where's Kareem? Short. Where's Kareem when you need him? Now in the sky hook. <laughs> it was a quick hook. There. The baby hook. Yep. So here's Small going to the, uh, with the left. And De Los Angeles comes down with a good heads up play. Oh, what Reeds. a pass. De Los Angeles with the big she pass. Hits Tanaka the layup is good and a foul. Oh, my. Rebound, pivot, and you have your chin up and you wow. see the floor. That is a, a mature play, Tom. What a great play. <clears throat> Tanaka drops it in, gets to the uh, stripe. And, and it's smooth shot. That All makes it 5-2 with 5.42. All of a sudden, a five-point run. Haley McGowan inbounds it for St. Chris. Pressure. Did you see this? That was a little pressure right there. Hey, the ball hasn't even hit the floor, little, and they're running full, the weave. Full court press right there by Kyle Tate. But they keep their chins up, and they keep their spacing, and they got the ball in the front court. Kyle, they're doing all right. Kyle Tate coached for years at PG as the assistant and the mastermind of their full court pressure. You know that Elm Street's going to try some of that. Sure. Lily Small drawing a crowd and draws a foul. St. Chris under the board. Yep. Couldn't yep. see through the trees there, Tom. Nope. There's Primo. She wheels and deals. Air ball. Strong athlete, and here we go with the press. There it is, pressure by Elm Street. Then they keep their spacing, keep their heads up, and here we go, ball's moving. Primo Ooh. tried to jump the pass, almost paid for it. Kahuro Tanaka came back to offer up some D, but drew a foul. So we've got Elm Street here against St. Chris, and in the boys' final, we have Elm Street and who's the opponent? Do we know yet? Or are they playing it right now? No, no, it's Fairgrounds. It's fairgrounds? Okay. Yep. And here goes Lily Small, number five, with 5.05 and five on the board. And that makes it 5-4. De Los Angeles, tightrope pass over there. 
Good interior defense by St. Chris. Yeah, they're staying very disciplined yep. against uh, a pretty athletic Elm Street team. That's what you have to do. There's Schreiner getting the ball. With her reach, she was able to reach it. I tell you, De Los Angeles is quick. She is. Strong athlete. She is. Let's see, she's in Elm Street, so she would probably be a South player. You got a four-person substitution. So, I mean, you, gotta, you start to watch and see where these kids might end up going. Oh, and hey, how about that? Haley McGowan from wow. deep. And that's a three-pointer there, Tom. So, seven five. now that we're not playing the fifth quarter, all of a sudden we see threes and a press. <laughs> Tell you, Fairgrounds cheer team are fantastic. We got a bigger, bigger roster than except, a lot of teams. Except they're taking up my space for photos. <laughs> so I'll have to shoot from here from the side. I'll pay them off. And they'll probably be here. Nina Anaya is inbounding for Elm Street. Pop good. Out to the wing. That's Wide number, open. That's number 25, Haley Cote. Real nice stroke. Wide I mean, open. Excellent mechanics on that release. Yeah, St. Chris is going to have to go out and cover the wings. Yeah, they've been packed in. They can't, you can't stay there forever. Good layup attempt, but no good. Here comes De Los Angeles running the point. Look at the chin up. Yep, spots the nice. Look good. at that extra pass. Oh, and a hit. Oh, my. Great play. De Los Angeles finds the player down low. She finds the player at the foul line. Jumper good. Fantastic catch and pass by Haley Cote there, number 25. And De Los Angeles quick stepping into the passing lane, 346. And it's 9-7. Well, I like what we're watching. Don't you? I do. Good grief. De Los Angeles almost had the steal. Oh, no look pass, didn't work and out. It's going to be St. Chris Ball. Yeah, it, we hit both feet on the way out. Ooh, they said that. Yeah, it, it hit her foot as she went out of bounds. Oh. It, we had a double foot ricochet. I didn't see that extra. A DFR. Extra hit, a DFR. <laughs> I didn't see that DFR. 3.30 and it's 9.7. I saw the DFO. I like Haley Cote off the bench, man. She's come in and done a nice job. Yep, it turns over, but she does good things. She's cerebral. De Los Angeles, you can tell who she is because of the shoes. Can't miss them. Through the trees, you know where she is, absolutely. Nice hands there by Haley Cote, right on cue, making me look good, Tom. Usually hard to do. Well, let's see. And we got Haley McGowan inbounding. Finds our friend uh, number five, shot. Lily Small, looking for a shot, no good, a front rim. There's number 14. That's Alana Small taking it up. And De Los Angeles yeah, going tried, to that scoop again. Tried that scoop, no room. Dribbled too far underneath. You've seen that a lot in girls, in varsity girls play. Oh, nice pass to Carolyn inside. Goulet looking nice chin up at the top, at the arc at the 19-9. Nice Lily, play. Lily Small. And that ties it up now that we're under three minutes. 2.50 and it's 9-9. Nine, nine. First quarter of the championship game of the City Middle School Tournament. What an atmosphere. Oh, nice. Oh, another steal. That's Kathleen Schreiner, Schreiner stepping into the pass. Off the board. Way right. to run the floor, and that a, makes it 11-9. A big player and then who could run the floor. McGowan like, playing some upfront defense here. A big player who could run the floor like that. Yeah. That is a boost. Hey, props to McGowan for patiently uh, looking at her options on this turnover and then waiting for her team to uh, settle the offense. Sometimes it's easy to jump the gun when you made, you know, got a turnover deep. And here comes Small, really nice right. crossover dribble, gets she, to the right side of the glass and kiss. And she's got some height as well. Yeah, long great, and lean. Great player with the basketball, knows how to move with the ball. 13-9 at the two minute mark. Another, almost another steal. They've got that weave play figured out. Carolyn Goulet running the floor, moves it out, and there's McGowan. Nice play, but can't get it off, uh, over the front rim. Rebound comes out. Gonna Elm Street. She's gonna go all the way. Abert, number four. Oh, how'd she get that shot off? Two of the biggest players on the floor in her way, yet she gets it over them. 
And now St. Christopher calls a timeout. The score is St. Chris 13, Elm, uh, Elm Street Eagles. I think she 11. borrowed uh, rosary beads from St. Chris's bench and got that one in. Ah, it looks that <laughs> way, huh? The St. Christopher Wildcats. Facing the Elm Street Eagles. That's impressive. She's pine size and got it over in the key, over the trees. She used Nicely her, done. She used her right hand and didn't hook it, but just knew that she had to get elevation on the shot. Scrappy player. She's tough. Well, speaking of crap, uh, tough players, <laughs> De Los Angeles is sitting on the bench. I don't think she's. I, I don't think she's used to doing too much of that. She's getting a little bit of a breather. She'll probably be on the bench for the end of the till the end of the quarter. Well, she turned oh, it out in this, game two one. Look at this two-on-one. Well, I like this player. Don't Lily you? Small, I am I like keeping this. my eye on her, and you better be. Oh, I'll tell you what, get a contract right now. <clears throat> so that's 15-11. Now make it 15-13 with 110. Do these middle school kids sign letters of intent for North or South? Probably going to have to happen. Or I think they should. At least in their minds. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> There's Tanaka with the rebound, running the left side of the floor. NLIs. Finds Na Alana Small. Nashua letter of intent. <laughs> Nashua. Jumper. Good. Oh. I believe that's going to become a thing, Tom, now yep. that you've done it. Tied up. First quarter. Along with DFR for the dual foot ricochet. Turnover. That's yours. Tanaka with the ball, 30 seconds left. 15 all. Tanaka going to the right hand across the lane, front rims. And there's Lily small. small with the rebound, chin up, running the floor, beautiful oh, passing. Look at this. Wonderful assist. Look Finds Carolyn Galay running from the backside, makes it 17 15 as we wind to the 10 second mark. Well, we're watching some good basketball. This is good basketball. No kidding. These, ki these kids really know what they're doing out there. The spacing was perfect. It is. Jumper, she weaved around and got a good shot off right there along the baseline. Yeah, I thought she got fouled, but no call. No call, no harm, no foul. They haven't called, have they called one in this quarter? I don't know. 17-15, the score in favor of St. Chris after one period of play here at the Nashua Middle School Championship. It's just good basketball. They, Flat out good basketball. They are running up and down the floor. Right. And it's not as kamikaze as I remember some of this being it's improved well we're seeing disciplined defense uh they uh st chris packed it in early and then started uh we started seeing some outside shots drop uh for the eagles but they stayed disciplined they're stepping into passing lanes they're getting backside help i mean that's fundamental basketball and l street's got to find someone <clears throat> who can guard small yeah. They really need to be able to stop Lily Small for St. Chris, who has basically been the engine for the Wildcats in this game uh, in terms of her ability to steal, her ability to run the floor, her ability in transition to spot the open players. Yeah, she's a control tower. Yeah, no kidding. You yeah. know, I mean, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. But her IQ is, is really, I, I, if I were a coach, I'd be real happy about this. Of course, she's going to be moving on. So hopefully uh, her teammates will follow her but lead. But if she's signing L L and I, I don't know. NLI yet. A Nashua letter of intent. <laughs> Jumper no good. It was by Small. And Trying it hit the baseline. Yep. Turnover to the Eagles. 17-15 as we get into the second quarter here. De Los Angeles number yeah, 10. Yeah, she's back on the floor as I thought she would well, be. Coach gave her a breather. I, yep. she, I mean, look at this move. I mean, she is 105 on the reactor the whole game. Travel got away with it. Jumper good. Smooth. Yeah. That's Joel Primo, number 20. That makes it 17 all. They're small. Look at that Look pass. at small with their chin up. Nope. That's going to go long. Uh, Schreiner can't get boxed out like that. And she's there's Anya be, Challenger. She's got to be able to fight for that rebound a little, little bit harder. But Challenger got her hips into the action and created a little space, yep. and there comes a rebound. Yeah, exactly. Nice left-hand dribble. Everything was good until the shot. Yep. It's okay. It's about good looks, and she got a good look at the basket. Look at this nice. pass right down the floor. 
Schreiner right there. Good job by Schreiner to run the floor, but a good job by Haley McGowan to see her running the floor and Haley, gets that pass in ha transition. Haley McGowan is uh, really cerebral as well. I don't remember seeing this kind of talent before. <clears throat> it's Do you, Tim O'Neill? Tim O'Neill's done a million of these. We have, I don't remember seeing this. Jumper, good, no! I thought Small had the glass. And there's a tie up. S Small and Primo going to the floor. And it looks Possession like, arrow it goes. It looks like a mass substitution. Some to of the, the kids, red and white. Some of these kids played in the in the fifth quarter that are coming in right now. Yeah, Kyle Tave I think Kyle emptying Tave, the bench. I think he wants a quicker team. If you match up with what St. Chris has, they have a smaller team out there right yeah. now. So he gets his small, quick players out there. Little chess game being played by the coaches. And Evelyn Hebert, number four, as we've seen, is quick. Again, another travel issue. Moving, Moving to, to the, the top of the key. Block. Small with the block. There's Haley Cote, number 25. Drawn contact going to the line, 609-1917. And you hear Coach Tave. Keep that pace up. Keeping that pace up. Right, run, 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 run. Yep, no, that's the old Gurton style. This is what, that's what he, that's what he helped oh. bring to PG. We went around the world with that one, and it drops in. That's what he helped bring to BG is Brad Creek's right-hand man. Cote can't get the second one to fall. Kathleen Schreiner with the rebound. And Caroline Goulet running the point, moves it to the right side. And ooh, ooh. great play. How about what that nice rotation by Tanaka? To just get over there yep. and do it with her left hand. Correct, without fouling. Right. That's discipline, the fundamentals again, Tom. And there, quick hands by Tanaka. Okay, Sh Schreiner gets the ball right there, put it up. Put it up right away, there's no pass to be made because it's tr too much traffic in the middle. So put up the shot, maybe you get a foul if you don't make it. I tell you, St. Chris is spreading the floor wide and trying uh, to see if the uh, if the defensive genius over here, Ooh, Coach Tave, can respond. There's a hard That's foul. That's a hard foul <laughs> knocking Tanaka to the floor. The first body has hit the floor. I would ask for an offensive foul, Tom. <laughs> You know, it, but that's, it, it, it's funny. We've done a, a couple of few high school girls games this year and mm -hmm. bodies have hit the floor a lot earlier than this. Well, there's no shortage of physicality in this game. Just a shortage it's Tanaka of, real just, far out. Just a shortage of benches. Yeah. <laughs> for fouls. All right, and Small gets to the left side of the rack and draws a foul on St. Chris. And she'll go to the stripe for two, 531. I was talking with a local coach the other night, and what he told me was at the youth level, whether it be the middle school or the biddy level, if a kid has a bad year or a bad experience with a coach or a season, they don't want to do it again. As in they don't want to sign up for right, the next year. Right. They don't they don't come back. And that's a trend that coaches are starting to see now at the youth levels where that's why it's so important to keep these kids engaged. Shot, what a, the pass of Everything but the drop. There's, no, oh, no. Elm Street survives. And too many trees in the key. Three passes on that play. And then three shots. Tanaka, she's doing it all right Look now. Look at that move, spin and move. And spins into a travel. Yeah, I didn't notice, but uh, De Los Angeles is back on the bench, I believe she's done on the floor. I'll tell you, I'm starting to like Tanaka's game here. Defensively, rotation, oh, runs know. the floor well. Yep. Five minute mark, 20 to 19. All right, so you know what we're gonna do? I'll, I'll tell you in a second, next stoppage. Nice pass. We'll settle the city championship right away. It'll be very quick. Tanaka Let's and- Let's hear it. Tanaka and Small, one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. Up, up to 20. I would pay I would uh, buy a ticket for that. Up to 20. <clears throat> All right. And here we come with another five-player rotation again. Yes. Coach Tave trying to keep his uh, people fresh. And we got De Los Angeles back in the game. 
Oh, oh. And there's our friend Small again. I tell you. She's all over the court. To That's knock a three pointer. It, to knock it in small. My money's on Small. 22 20 now for St. Chris. 4 30 in the half. Primo can't get that one to fall. And there's Small with the rebound. She's everywhere. She's ubiquitous, yeah, you know rather what? like Tom King. Yeah, yeah, but you know what? I'm looking at her right now. She's gassed. Yes, look at that shot. You see that shot didn't even make the rim. That's the sign that a player is tired. She is gassed. Not too gassed to get her interception there. Nice bounce pass to the paint. I love the way Schreiner runs the floor. Runs the floor, excellent, always, excellent look. Always down low, always the, there. Carolyn Goulet with the chin and the eyes up. There's De Los Angeles going to her patented uh, scoop shot. Can't make it, fell, it so, hits the side of the backboard. And here comes Goulet down Ooh, the floor. Ooh, nice block. Oh. Anya Challenger challenges her. It is De Los Angeles with the drive, no foul. Ah, she went to the well once too many. She should have created a little space on a retreat of some sort, but and she would have uh, been able to kiss the glass. I'll tell you one thing, what they're doing here. They're letting the kids play. They are. Because there would have been, if this were a high school game, De Los Angeles would be at the line right now. 24-20 with 3.30 coming up. De Los Angeles with the ball at the point. Gets a nice pick. Shot from is Challenger. off. Oh, oh, it, oh, but it finds its way in. We it got both like, hands up. I'm looking, it looked like it was going to drift to the right, but no. De Los Angeles gets oh, herself a three ball. Why? That's a double dribble. Carolyn Goulet, just too much going on with the hands. Turnover right here at the side block. 318 in the half. And Challenger brings the ball up court with De Los Angeles going to the left wing. Oh, nice running move by And De now Los Angeles. Well, she's there making things happen, isn't she? Elm, well, Elm Street needed somebody to spark them. Tanaka was doing it for a little while, but she's not on the floor right now. So you want someone has to be a spark, and that's what she has been. Nice pass. A very down nice low. pass. They, oh, they did. They had a passing game. St. Chris's is, passing game is terrific. It's terrific. They must work on that a lot in practice. Well, I'll tell you, interesting is that De Los Angeles energy uh, surge here mirrors what we think is a fatigue Lily Small at this moment. Yep, it does. Not mirrors it, but it. it no, small, small hasn't come out of the game. She's stepping into the void. And there Look we are again. There's this. another three ball. She's feeling it. She is feeling it. It was a four point St. Chris lead. Now it's 28-26 uh, for Elm Street. Long ball from uh, McGowan. I haven't seen that And before. Small finds I the way. I haven't seen a ball bounce up high over the board. Did you see that? I did. Unbelievable. Wow, they're getting all the loose balls. I haven't seen that shot good, no. St. Chris is not. That's up missing everything. Yeah, there's Ends your up being an assist you know, to put that in the playbook. That's your bread and butter right there. Go to her. If you're tired, post play. Yeah, Schreiner really low. has to, and here comes another five person move. Yep. 28 up, 140. There they go, fighting for that loose ball. Boy, this is great basketball. Well, that's Challenger really, really good basketball. hitting the floor. That's just hustle. I haven't seen basketball like this in a while. They're doing a great job. Uh, Coach Tave has got his players hustling, hustling, hustling. And they're fresh. Haley McGowan, zero with the ball. Looking to start right side over to the two. Nice pass in the lane. Yep, they're looking Too at the top traffic. of the key. Yep. But smart by, by well, Small. Guess who's not on the floor? Schreiner is not on the floor right now. So they don't have that post play that they had before. So now they're gonna have to find an alternative. And they go small turnaround jumper. Hit the underside of the backboard there. That stays under the key. Yeah, that was uh, uh, Libby Mello. She had great position for the rebound, but just not great position for the shot. Carolyn Goulet to inbound. Coming up on the one minute mark. Bombs away. Boy, Elm Street can't buy a defensive rebound, can they? And right now, St. Chris is having trouble buying a long ball. Some of the shots when they were fresher that would drop are not finding their way into the net at this point. 103 on the clock. 
and a 28 all time. Man, this is a good game, Tom. It is a good game. St. Chris ball under the basket. Inbound right to Small. She draws a crowd. And great hands right there by Nina Anaya. Well, no 22. doubt about who wanted that ball more, huh? No doubt. And there's Anaya with launching a shot. Backside of the board. Under a minute to play. Trickles away. Here comes Goulet. And I'm not trying to run. Behind the back pass, a little overcooking the grits. Aber with the steal. We used to say Bobby Aber. Aber from New Orleans. My apologies if I got it wrong. Is he the perfect quarterback for, for the Bayou? Number six, yeah. Good lord. Great. I mean, perfect name for a quarterback. Oh my. The Bayou. I don't think Aber was that good. Good of a collision out there between McGowan. It's getting. And Anaya. Oh, yeah, see, so you can tell. You got a few of the reserves on the floor. Some tired players as well, and small. It's getting a little bit helter skelter out there. A little bit kamikaze. It's not yep. what these kids. It's not what these coaches want. So now you've got De, uh, De Los Angeles back in, in the lineup. Yep. Tanaka is out there. So let's see what they can do defensively. They're gonna have to make it up defensively. Uh oh. Wide open. Look how quickly De Los Angeles gets over to make the defensive play. And not quite a turnover, but almost was. I mean, she is instant energy, man. Oh, boy, she is. Boy. And they're small. I don't think she's come out of the game no, at all. She is tired. Steal. Tanaka takes it length, coast, and drops it in with the lefty. Well, I told you I wanted to see a Tanaka small one-on-one. -on -one. We got it you right got there. You got your wish. And Tanaka wins it. Wow, with that kind of future vision, Tom, we're going to Vegas next weekend. <laughs> 8.3 seconds, wow. Tanaka at the line with a 30-28 lead. Doesn't Back control. rims it, but she gets her own rebound, stays with the yeah, shot. Yeah, a little help from De Los and Angeles. And runs the baseline. I think she might have stepped out. Nope, she got pushed out. De Los Angeles got her hand on the ball and knocked it to Tanaka. <laughs> Three seconds left, catch and shoot. Maybe one dribble. No stack, but they're coming right at the ball. Inbound bounce. She's got a wheel and deal. Oh, tonight somebody's got to let her know. <laughs> Remarkable. When I was in foster care, I never knew when I would have to move. So I always had my suitcase ready to go. Then one day, I was adopted. My new parents opened their hearts and home to me. My parents cook my favorite breakfast for me every morning. My parents take me on trips I never thought I would go on. They gave me a home and an even better reason to use that suitcase. My parents aren't perfect, but they're perfect for me. And welcome back everybody to the second half of the Nashua City Middle School Championships. I'm Tom King along with Rich McDonough. And it is 30 to 28, the score. Eight minute quarters here at Titans Gym. And it's Elm Street ball. They have the lead and they have the ball. Take it away, Rich McDonough. And De Los Angeles running point. Really the picture of energy for that team in the first half. St. Chris, they're right on cue. There's a steal, she runs the floor and can't get the bank shot oh, and she's hurt her left or her right knee but she toughs it out as we uh, expect she's got, and she's got tape on both just below both knees yep st chris back into its spread which is probably what i should and have done. it hits the top of the backboard that's going to be a turnover which is probably what i should have done when i shoveled yesterday <laughs> <laughs> our officials Anto antoine thomas and kevin simino let them play in the first half that's for sure 30 to yeah, 28. Yeah, we like, we like that. That was entertaining. Steal. And Haley McGowan steps into a passing lane there. Well, a lot of small top, top of the key. It ricochets and finds its way into the hands of Joel Primo. Boy, if you've, been here, if you've been here since the beginning of the day, you're going 
you're gonna, you're gonna hear ball, you're gonna hear bouncing balls in your in your sleep. Ah, uh, there's no doubt. All right, St. Chris with the ball under its own board. Two turnovers, Trails. Moves it up to the wing. Gianna Maffei. Ooh, nice pass. There it is. As usual, great passing by St. Chris. They I, keep their spacing. I asked Nate Goulet at halftime, do they work a lot of that at practice? And he looked at me, he goes, well, he said, these girls have played a lot of basketball. I said, okay. Yeah. Yep, then they got to be signing some NLIs. They got to be. <laughs> Well, right on cue, there's Goulet bringing it up the floor. Oh, behind the tough, back dribble. Tough defense over there by Alana Small. Rainbow three. And Ricochet's back rim. And the smallest player in the court finds the, the long rebound. Small with a good dribble. Really left. Look at that. Look at Going that. behind her back. Can't get it to drop. Gets her own rebound. Can't get the follow to drop. Hits it to the point. And look at that. That had. Deanna Maffei, number that, two, drops one in. That had good all the way as I'm looking at I'm at a perfect angle from where we're sitting. And I'm, I'm right behind her. Literally right on a line behind her watching that ball just drop in. You could tell it was good all the way. Well, I tell you, I got to give props to Lily Small there. Couldn't get her two shots in close to drop. It's frustrating but she kept her poise and redirected the ball to topside. Right. And good things happen. 33-30, 5.49 is the clock in the third quarter. And here comes De Los Angeles, who had 10 points in the first half. All right, some good interior defense by St. Chris. And there's our discipline And again. now look at Elm Street being pushed all the way back defensively. De Los Angeles can't find any opening. They double team her. Yeah, and they said they, they try to free her up with a pick. Did not work. St. Chris stays disciplined. Side of the rim, there's Lily Small with the ever ready hands. It ricochets off of White. And St. Chris has the ball under its own rim. McGowan inbounds, brings the ball up court after getting it back, looking it up. Find Small in the key and perfectly placed off the backboard. Drops in for now, two. This is starting to get away from Elm Street now. I say it's uh, De Los Angeles time. Yeah, and but right she, on cue, she yeah, pushes but, one but out. You know what's one thing she knows? That the interior is tough to get in. She with knows this, that. With this defense, and she knows that she's not able to do that right now. She's got to fire up the scoop shot. Yep. Well, I think she's got to fire it up from the outside. Boom. Boy. McGowan, beautiful 37, passing. 37, 30. This is a 9-0 run by St. Chris. You see McGowan take what they gave her? Yep. And I, but I also saw De Los Angeles with a nice move inside. Yeah. Very, very strong athlete De Los Angeles is. Timeout Elm Street on the floor, 37-30. In favor of St. Chris, they have taken over this game in the third quarter. Basketball is a game of runs, and we're on a nine-pointer right now with St. Chris. Yep. It was 30 to 28. It's now 37-30. Uh-oh, Kyle Taves got the clipboard out now. Oh boy. He's well, got the whiteboard. Is that the first time in the last That's year, the first perhaps? Time I've seen it. <laughs> it's the first time I've seen the assistant coach just handed him the whiteboard. I thought he's he was down, he's down on the knee, and here we go. This is this is a big timeout for Elm Street. Knowing him, it's a permanent Sharpie. There were times at Bishop Girton where Brad Creek would just say, take it over. And he would step back and Tate would be the one running the timeout, especially if it was a defensive oriented timeout. There's no shortage of energy in that man. No, not at all. Interestingly enough, his, I think his best all around player, De Los Angeles, kind of, you know, gives back that same energy when she's on the floor. Yep. 443 in the third quarter. Again, St. Chris is on a 9-0 run. That has made it 37-30 for them. And De Los Angeles with the ball on the baseline. A double pick trying to get somebody free. And it bounces. Oh. Again, dis disciplined defense by St. Chris. Yeah, but and it bounced away, and no one was going to come up with it until. Schreiner got her hands on it and ends up with the ball. And look, De Los Angeles 
Okay, here's Carolyn Goulet, Goulet, number 11. She's yep. the daughter of, of Nate Goulet. Assistant coach. I, I remember when she was born 11 years ago. Front rim. I think I got the I think I got the age right. 11 or 12 years ago when Nate had her. De Los Angeles tries, you know, goes go, uh, going again to that well from the right side of the board. Can't make it work. Nice pass Long by Goulet. Long bounce Goulet. pass, and Tanaka steps in to knock it away for 17 and still 37-30 for St. Chris. Her, her father is the former head coach, baseball coach at Old Dominion University. Really? Yep. Where Taylor Heineke went. Yep. Jumper. I think I have the school right. He was the interim head coach and took them to one of their best seasons ever and then did not get the permanent job. McGowan can't make the long ball work, but one more time, a long rebound goes to St. Chris. That's probably about a half a dozen long rebounds for them Boy. on the offensive end. Nice pass. Nice ball movement, moving around the wing. Look at that. And a set shot. shot. A set shot. Feet didn't leave the floor by Schreiner. Next thing we'll know is, uh, we'll see is a George Mikan style hook shot. Well, I wonder where some of these kids are going to go next year. Because some schools are going to end up with some good players. I agree. It all depends on whether, you know, I mean, do they go, you know, they, they're at a private school now. Do they stay private? They go to Trinity, they go somewhere else, they go to Massachusetts, they go to BG. Where would they go? That's going to be a great story to follow because you're seeing some fundamentals and, and some talent and some speed. That's why I hold on to these programs. They're gold. Tom King is also a hoarder, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> 339. Yeah, you don't want to go in my house with all the <laughs> stuff that's there. 3730. Yeah, Sullivan said that you had some uh, uh, a couple of cold ones for us ready last week. Oh! No, excuse me, Collins, good, John Collins. Good story to tell you about that. Okay. 328. Tell it to you. I'll tell it to you during the next timeout. Sounds fun. Haley McGowan inbounding again. St. Chris with the lead, seven pointer. 37 30, 328 in the third. Carolyn Goulet takes the pass from McGowan and back to Goulet. That misses everything, but it does find Tanaka who brings it up the left side. Still a seven point game. Tanaka's gonna drive it. Tanaka testing the key, can't get it to, to find anything. Oh! oh. <laughs> Primo's toes were and right on the looked, line. She looked <laughs> to see, and she thought she got away with it. Oh, that's great. The expression on her face was, uh, was priceless. There's another one, she shouldn't <laughs> have cut her toenails. Oh, I'm telling you, that was funny. That was great, poor kid. <laughs> She, it was thought right. she thought, thought she had the call. She thought she was careful enough to keep her balance and stay in bounds. And that happened right in front of Tom King. Oh, so we, he got a great show too there. too much. I wish I had the photo of that. I had the camera right next to me. Your Bob Kappa days are over. Yep. <laughs> 237 <laughs> left in the uh, third quarter. It's still 37-30. Been in holding pattern for about two minutes. Shot is up and no good. Boy, Boy. somebody put saran wrap over both rims. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. We, we gotta get we gotta get some buckets here. Someone's I mean the good news for Elm Street is they're able to, to it, it keeps them in the game. Yeah. The bad news is they haven't been able to put a dent in the lead. Who's the spark, Tom? No, I, I think it's still number 10, right? I mean, but she, and oh. she's on the floor. So she's got to do it. The problem is, is she was a little bit, uh, felt she couldn't get inside. Now, here she goes all the way. See, that, right there. She's got to do that. She didn't get her chin up. Uh, she got her chin up too late. Yep. Couldn't find the target. McGowan inbounding as usual. Runs it right up the middle. Passes over to Goulet. Again, then there's De Los Angeles on the backside, yep. but it was a, a, a lazy pass. Got right in the she passing lane. She took right away. advantage of it. She's lucky she got away with a walk oh, see, there. She's got to be smart. Yeah, she is. And there's Nina she, Anaya. See, the, the temptation is she doesn't want to go one on five. And McGowan right. bringing it up the middle. Doesn't want to go one on five. I haven't, talk, I haven't heard Lily Small's name, but here she goes right to the uh, 
the left side of the rim. I think she's been out of the Can't game. Can't get it to drop, but they she does draw a foul. They rested her for a while, didn't they? I don't think she was on the floor. After that first time out by Kyle Tave in the right. quarter. I think they took her out. 152 to play. I would. They're going to need her down the stretch. I want her on the floor for the, for the fourth quarter. Now she's not, Smooth. not too tired to make free throws, that's for sure. And it's, now it's an eight-point lead. 152 in the third. Small at the line for their second of two. Hit the first one. And can't get that one to fall, but we have a big tie-up to Los Angeles. Oh, wow. oh, oh, how'd she get that ball? I'll tell you, seeing eye by Kathleen Schreiner. Here comes De Los Angeles. Schreiner had eight in the first half, Tom. And this is everything. There's Schreiner. Look at that. Chin up. Finds the hands of Small. Oh! Patiently settles the ball. Looks at the top of the key. There's Goulet. Schreiner. Bang! And McGowan. Patient passing one more time for St. Chris. And now it's an 11 point game. And we Elm have our Street. first double digits of the and game. Elm time. Street's got a long way to go here. <laughs> Atlanta Small can't get that one to work and McGowan Rich. brings it up court. Rich, nice. they're, they're, being shut out for the, they're being shut out for the quarter. Yeah, amazing. I missed the call there, but turned over to uh, Elm Street. Traveling up the floor, I believe. So the, the ball will be taken out. It wasn't on the pass. The ball will be taken out at half court. That's what I get for looking down at stats. That's all right. De Los Angeles, number 10 with the ball. Really been their field general out there. Well, she's looking for an opening, but you Gianna know what? Maffei is giving her some good defense. Nice touch. Now, that's the Couldn't problem. get the rebound, but touched the, the ball McGowan's out. going to try fast break. There it is. And a foul to go to the line. Transition play off the defense. So St. Uh, Christopher has turned their defense into their offense pretty well. If you notice, if you notice, the drives down penetrating the lane mm -hmm. by De Los Angeles, they're not happening anymore. Oh, they're shutting her down. Yep. What and I love right there was Kathleen Schreiner, number 22, could not get that rebound. But she could get a hand on it, and right. she tapped it forward to her teammate. Right. And they went down and they get into the line. Yep. I mean, that's IQ, man. Oh, it's, it, this, this team is a very smart team. And their spacing is terrific Boy, when they I'll, run the floor. I'll tell you. Nice smooth shot there I, by Goulet. That's I really want to know where these kids are going next year. There's your, there's your, uh, there's your storyline. Oh! TK. Yep. De Los Angeles couldn't get the scoop to drop. Small with a save. If I were them, I'd hold for the last shot. You got Amen. a 12-point 12, 12 lead, and she does. And Look at that. Look at, at that. 20-second mark. Yep. She's going to hold for the last shot if they can do it. Can a middle school hold the ball for, for 25 seconds, team? We're about nope. to find out, aren't we? They're going to try. We're down to eight, seven. All right, draws the double, moves Time it over to shot. McGowan. There it is. And can't make it work. They did everything but the drop. Yep. See, it's just IQ by Small again. But she drew the double. McGowan is ready. Yep. Uh, they're they're well coached and they keep their spacing, this which kind of neutralizes to some degree a high octane uh, athletic defense. Very smart basketball team. Yep. And they're up 12 here in the, after three periods of play. The score is 42 to 30 in favor of St. Christopher's over Elm Street. It was 30 to 28. We have a 14 point run. And it's shut out in the third quarter. Correct. Shut out. That is unbelievable. It was a combination of good defense uh, and just some bad luck there uh, for Elm Street. They just couldn't get the shots that were dropping to drop. De Los Angeles had two penetrating drives where it looked like she was going to make the hoop, and it went in and out both times. Yep. And then the shots from the outside for Elm Street, they're just not an outside shooting team, it doesn't look like, anyway. So what I'm surprised at, but see, the, the, the thing is, without the made baskets, Elm Street can't go into their press. Well, they can't do it. You, you, it's, it's transition all the way for St. Chris. Well, the old adage is you don't let that thing set up. Right. <clears throat> right now, they're not letting it set up. Right. 
is Goulet. Nice pass to the baseline, and a shot is no good. I'll tell you, Goulet is very poised. Yep. Oh, daughter of a coach, right? There we go. Now, uh, see, she can't do that. She's going to the well. Yeah, going she's to the trying well. to go one on three. That can't happen. Uh, just Goulet, just right, right after I said she's poised, she uh, threw the long ball, couldn't catch up. And but so I will say, when we've said it before, uh, Lily Small showing some fatigue. She's played most of the game. I think there was just a, a, a short time when she was out. We got the Elm Street kids behind There's us. There's Tanaka moving it to Devin Brown, getting some minutes. Nice pump fake by oh, Alana Small. Can't get that one to work. They cannot buy Challenger a bucket. With a rebound and a close in shot. Can't get that one to work. Seven minute mark coming up and still a 12 point lead. pass. Small can't get that one to go. So small on one end, small on the other, going right over the rim. Tanaka, ooh, contact, no call. No uh, call. No call. Physical game Wow. Here. How do you not have a call on that? Somebody got fouled. And yeah. Who was it? And there we yeah, go. Yeah, somebody got called. Somebody got fouled on that play. Yeah, Anya Challenger goes to the deck and draws <laughs> a foul. That's, a, that's interesting. I was a freshman at Georgetown when they won the whole shooting match, Tom, and that was some physical ball. We're seeing some physical ball here. Oh, look at that nice bounce pass on the wheel. Well, Challenger I, gets I, one to drop finally. I, That's I, a, I, breaks a long drought. Is your alma mater gonna hang on to their head coach uh, <laughs> next after this year? I doubt it. Pat was in my Spanish section. I uh, doubt nice it. guy. He's gonna have a rough time. Yep. And so Elm Street gets on the board, but St. Chris comes right back. And there's your patient Watch passing, out. and it hits the sideline. Those hands it's ready, Mr. McDonough. The ball is coming right to, to you. Yep, I was ready. Yep. I'm an old lacrosse goalie. Yep, you're a lot quicker than Collins. I Collins, <laughs> Collins is really slow to that. <laughs> but his wit is still excellent. Yeah, it's true. That's what counts. McGowan to inbound. There's small run on the floor, gets you know, she's got long arms, creates her own space. Nice bounce pass, great oh. look. Just couldn't get that one to fall. De Los Angeles Schreiner. back in the game. Gonna and go all the way. The oh, oh, couldn't get my. that one to work. What a shot. She's so fast. Oh, but what a shot. She knew she'd overdriven the, the hoop and then she does a double reverse. She, using the rim as a pick. That would have that brought the house down if and she made that. And we got a timeout on the floor. Looks like Kyle Tave, Coach Tave, calls it. We got 6:01 hey, to go. You know, if you can get, if you can score off turnovers, that's how I see <coughs> the Eagles getting back into this. If you can score off turnovers, they've had a bunch and they just can't convert. Yep. De Los Angeles needs uh, a wing, a, a running had? mate. She right had now. one in the first half. You yeah. get Tanaka and De Los Angeles on the on, on the floor at the same time. That should give you a little bit of a, a boost, right? Let's see if Coach Tave, you know, tries that chemistry. You know, he hasn't done the platooning like he did in the first half. No. When he was doing, they were rotating, cycling four or five people in, right, per substitution, and it seemed like every other minute too, uh, Tom. Yep. And consequently, I think they were always fresh, and uh, they had the lead. Be interesting to see what Coach Tave gets back to here, if anything. De Los Angeles is on the floor. Uh, Tanaka is not. Now Haley Cote gave, gave us some good minutes in the first half. She's inbounding the ball. We get a uh, sideways stack up at the free throw line and they rotate out of it and get the ball in. De Los Angeles with her chin up at the point, gets a pick from Primo, and it deflected off. Now she just lost the ball after the collision. Yeah. Didn't deflect, she just lost it. I couldn't see behind. Uh, yeah, they didn't, yeah, be behind Antoine. Ref, yeah, Antoine. Antoine, yeah. They did not uh, call a foul on that play, and there was contact there. That's a double, double dribble. dribble. Yeah. <laughs> Good defense up, up the floor. 542, and Kyle Tate 
says to his players, let's get going, yep. while Scott Purcell is saying, okay, let's play some defense. 12 points in five and a half minutes. That's a substantial wall. That's coming to me. And there's Alana Small missing it all. But, but, but here, to here's what I saw on that before, before, before Antoine blocked me out. And Antoine's I, a big dude. I saw uh, the turnover here, five second call. I saw De Los Angeles get covered once she got by one defender, the other defender came in and picked her up. I tell you, Gianna Maffei has done a real good job on her, De Los Angeles. And it's up. Good hands, but Devin Brown steps out of bounds. Ball goes back to St. Chris. And here comes Tanaka into the game at 523 mark and down 12 points, 44-32. St. Chris handles a forward pressure here pretty well. Tanaka right on cue, offering up the pressure. McGowan dribbles, goes left, and looking for some help. Oh, Great wide open. cut away from the ball. Oh, oh, in and out. Kathleen Schreiner. The couldn't, couldn't make the, couldn't finish. The whole thing was open. She just couldn't get it to drop well, in. Here we go. She's going to, yeah, it's just too much, too much juice. She's done a zillion of those. And and, and Coach Tave is trying to settle yeah, her down. Yeah, settle her down a little bit. She's frustrated. Yep. Claps her hands and gets herself back in the game. And St. Chris is chewing up some clock with every possession here. Uh, Nobody there. Tried, someone, it, tried it the second time from the other side of the court. Didn't was, work. Well, someone was supposed to cut. They well, didn't, didn't well yeah, it was supposed to be uh, uh, Schreiner. Yep. Tanaka. No good. Coach Small. has got them open offense right now. Uh, pull it back out. Yep. Four and a half minutes to go. You're up 12. Pull it back out. There's no shot clock. I'll tell you, if they can get under the four-minute mark with this 12-point lead, things yeah. are pretty yeah. grim. And they got 22 seconds to do it. So I'd still pull it out. But they don't. They and put it's it up. An air ball. Yep. But it goes to Schreiner on the backside. And Schreiner they probably should have chewed some yeah. clock there. Schreiner, well, you know what? No. Oh, I'll look at that. You, I'll tell you what happened, should have happened in a second. Schreiner should have put it up. She had an open shot. De Los Angeles with the uh, Tom Brady-like throw there. Oh, there's and a pass. a little bit of passing in the key. Great passing right there by Elm Street. And four minutes on the dot left in the game. Shaves it to 10 points at 44-34 for St. Chris. Nina Anaya and Joel Primo. And that play was Primo. Good it really play. was. They Great kept pass. their spacing, kept their chins up. Great passing. 10-point game, four minutes to play. Hey, it's not over yet. But good discipline there. It's easy for kids to get pretty over eager when you're when the basket is right in sight. Yep. And take that breath, and somebody usually is open because you've drawn the defensive attention. It's exactly what she did. Coach has to be happy about that. Now old age is creeping in on me because I had a story to tell you and I forgot what it was. I don't remember. I told you I'd tell you. I should next have written it out. down. And I, I should have written it down. I don't remember what it was. <laughs> Must be creeping in on uh, me, it's, too. It's getting to me. <laughs> Tom King, along with Rich McDonough, Tim O'Neill on camera, and Dylan Smith also here as our cameraman and floor tech, and Pete Johnson back in the studios, the cozy comforts of the ETV studios. Pete Johnson, our executive producer. And we got a great gym atmosphere here. St. Chris with the ball, four minutes even, left to go, 44-34 lead. And there's Goulet, coach's daughter, bringing it up the court. Stays with St. Chris, McGowan to inbound. Moves it to Goulet, an eighth grader. Go, oh, and look, wide open. Wide open, takes the space. And there's Lily Small with the rebound, can't get that one to drop. Oh, and there's De Los Angeles out in front of everybody. And now she finally gets a layup to drop, and that cuts it to eight, Tom King, 3.30. And there you go. In the fourth. Elm Street now with a little bit of pressure, now they back off. Nope, one foot. I think everybody's gotta get a pump fake, a head fake, a ball fake, whatever. That keeps the defense honest. 
And that misses long, that's not goes back side to Los Angeles running the left side of the floor that's, with the right hand. That's not the shot you want. And she goes left and can't get that to drop. Rebound but foul. Johnny on the spot is on your challenger with the rebound. You're going to get those calls now with 3.06 to play. They're going to start to blow the whistle a little bit more. Finally. Thought he'd uh, pull to Fred Flintstone and swallow the whistle. Nope. <laughs> challenger going to the line for two. 3.06 in the fourth. Smooth stroke. Challenger cuts it to seven. Second of two coming up. Coach Tave is really in the moment right now. That's going to miss long, but in backboard, I don't know if she called it. Can't count it, but we do count it, of course. That cuts it to six, 44-3, 38 with three in now, Tom. In a minute, they have cut the lead in half in one minute's time. You said 12 points after four, it's over. Not, they couldn't get that lead up. Basketball so, is a game of runs. And, and here we go. And here we go. And that one misses backside. 2.45 to Tanaka to bringing it up the right side of the floor. Can't two, take too much time. Got to make some shots quick. But don't do desperate things. And right off the hands. And a turnover. Of Alana Small, number 14. She had some time and space, but just couldn't handle the these rock. Are, these are, uh, this is a point in the game now where your guards for St. Chris have got to take the game over. And look at Goulet. I like what she's doing. She's making the bigs reach yeah. for the ball, but they should have probably, they should have probably swung that around. Two more passes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you want to spin it, get everybody yep. into rhythm, and it bounces off small. That's going to stay with the Eagles. 2.19 on if, the clock. If, if I'm, if I'm St. Chris, I want Small or Schreiner to take the shots. The others, I want them passing the ball. I want them moving the ball around. And choose some more clock, but you know, don't and take I, yourself out of rhythm. And I want Schreiner in the post. All, all right, here's all Tanaka times. going left, and then can't get that one to drop. What a great rebound by Challenger. Challenger, really, she's played some good ball here. Oh, nice, nice pass dish. by De Los Angeles, and a hoop, and it's a four-point game. Is. Two minutes on Two the dot. Two minutes to play. Every one minute, they chip away four more. Steal! Oh, a kickball. That's just kick an effort, ball. hustle, play, kickball. Look ball. at Tate. He's three feet on the floor. High five or giving a giving a congratulations to Dale. But that That's kind of energy, right Tom, is infectious. And a timeout, St. Chris, 155 and to play. She is the dictionary definition of energy. That's why and she, hustle. That's why she's not coming off the floor until the buzzer Nope. Starts. You're gonna empty the tank with number 10. And here's what you got right now. You've got a tired St. Christopher team. Yeah. And Elm Street has been flowing people in and out for the last quarter and a half. He's been substituted regularly. Oh, yeah. And that's been the difference. All of a sudden, Schreiner had the ball on an offensive rebound right after you said if they could cut, keep this lead to 12 at the four-minute mark, it looked bad. Schreiner had the ball underneath with an easy bucket, and she passed it out. She takes that shot. They're up 14, and I think maybe a different game. Now, it's easy for me to say that. Yeah, but, but you were daring us kind but, of but that's to remember it, that. Right. Yeah. So the thing is, if they if if they get Schreiner in the game in the low post, they can maybe because they can't now milk the clock. They've got to get some points. And here we go, 155, four point lead for St. Chris. And they have the ball. But Schreiner's we're getting some good but pressure Schreiner's out. Schreiner's top. outside. Now small is outside. And there's the long pass. They step into the passing lane. They're ready to roll. Can't make it. 140 and a four point lead. Remember, no shot clock in New Hampshire. Small and De Los Angeles are giving great oh. pressure out top. It was, uh, they hit the ball away, so it'll stay with St. Chris. Deflection. Tipped. Ref clearly, uh, Ref Simino, Kevin Simino, clearly on top of that one. Explained it to the coach. Under 130 now with the four-point lead. St. Chris with the same with the ball. 
This could be an epic comeback. Really working the right side of the court this really, there. This, this could be. This has all the makings of an epic comeback. Watch uh, Small from the left side here. But look at this there. Milk on the clock. Good job by St. Chris to keep the clock and down. And there she goes. There's give and Small. go. Long give and go. Can't get it to drop. Weak McGowan rebound. with the rebound. Resets. Gets it outside. And, and, and reset the clock. Yeah. Well, reset, reset. the clock. But a minute, there's exactly a minute to play. And we and got a foul. foul. Yep. Here comes the hack a shack. And we don't, well, we don't know what the team fouls and it can't be high because there haven't been many fouls called in this game. There haven't been many and they don't have it up on the board. They had it earlier. All right, time out on the floor, under a minute. We, okay, we've let's got- say 56.7. All right, Elm Street's, got, Elm Street's got five team fouls. So they got one more to give. St. Chris only has three. How'd you get that info? Right over there. Oh. Yep, the other board. The other board, oh, the other usually, board's yeah, the other board usually has it. Yep. Boy, Tom, I was really, you should have gone with it. Uh, that you were, you know, clairvoyant. Oh, I, I, I should have, yeah. I know. <laughs> we are going to Vegas. Yeah, I kept track. Yeah. Do not play poker against Tom King. All right, folks, 56.7 on the clock in the fourth in the right. Nashua Middle School City Championship game. Tave has one time, the referee just told Tave, he's got one timeout left. Coach Tave does. Yep. Okay. One timeout one left, left for the Eagles. Four point lead. And the gym is electric right now. Coach uh, calls a timeout. Didn't want this. Coach Purcell. Did he? Yeah. Yep. On the inbounds. They couldn't get an inbound. Yeah, they was worried about the five second. Yep. So it stays 56-7. It stays 44-40, and don't go away. Stay with us. At this point now, if I'm St. Chris now, I milk the clock. You milk the four. clock, but don't get out of rhythm. Well, you know what? There's 56.7 seconds left. There's not a lot of rhythm to worry about right <laughs> now. So I, I'm, I'm milking the clock. I'm forcing Elm Street to foul and go to the line and win it at the foul line. Like traditional, regular, you know, run of the mill basketball when it's a four point game with 56.7 seconds to play. Well, Coach Taves, a defensive uh, specialist. We're gonna get, see some pressure yep. and possibly some long ball open passes on the backside. 56.7 to go, four point lead for St. Chris. Rich McDonough here with Tom King. And they do get an inbound, a long ball. Now, see, normally she'd take that layup, right? Or at least test it. Right. Yep. Just oh, that's a great ball fake. Yep. Great gonna ball milk. fake. Look at this. And here comes the foul. And there it is. But that's the last right. foul they have to give right. by, by, my, by the count of the board. And we'll be in the penalty. Oh, no. They We're have only four fouls up there now. They had five earlier. So there's a lot more fouls they have to give. They Free. should foul right now. Oh, off or toe. You forget foul. Vegas, Tom. Foul. They should you be fouling. They've got to. Even nice. the Elm Street kids behind us are yelling foul. They're going foul. long ball. They're keeping their spacing. They're moving the ball quickly. Yeah. Here comes another long ball. They're playing keep away, 28.9. Yeah. They finally get one. Yep, the Elm Street guys behind us, right? Wow. They're yelling foul. Yeah. They knew. And your challenger. That's right. we got a, a dozen coaches behind us. Yep. 28-9, four-point lead. That was a heck of a game of keep away. And they try, the, they're worried about the five-second rule again. Well, it was a whistle blown. Do you call time? They call time, or they allow he, it? He's looking for a 30. Yep. No, I, and he's getting it. He's getting it, yep. Coach Purcell. Well, no, they want to know. Who, I think that might have been the point. The pointing was down this way, so it's a question of whose timeout it is. Purcell saying it's his timeout. And now he just found out he's got one left. Yep, yeah, and it was. Yep. Pur Purcell got that one. He was calling for a he 30. He was calling for a 30. Yeah. Yep. 28.9 seconds. But it's, it had to have moved to a full because they're all sitting down. Or is it? Let's see. I mean, th they had a little quick powwow there. I think you can see around the huddle. I can't. Um... Wow, this is a this is a full. It's full. Yeah, it's, yeah. yeah, it's, it's already full. past thirty. Yeah, it's past thirty. Well, well, they're coming out. Maybe not. 
Coach Purcell is animated in that huddle. That's for sure. Well, he, what he was doing was trying to set them up def uh, defensively, tell yep. them where to, where to go. He was he Well, was he's got them in the stack. Right, he was kind of gesturing what they need to do off the off the inbounds play. And Challenger, you know. Whatever some, you do, don't throw it in the direction of the Elm Street hoop because it, you, that would be an easy layup. Yep. And they get it back. Yep. That's Caroline Goulet poised, lets the foul come to her. Chips away a few seconds, coach's daughter. All right, that's six fouls. Now the next one Next one is a Gets throw. us in the bonus. Yep, next yep. one, one-on-one. 25.8 on the clock. Here comes another inbound. All right, player hits the floor, no call. And foul there's, there it is. Yep, that was. Uh, and there's Schreiner. I think Tanaka fouled Schreiner, who will go to the line now to shoot two with 25.1 seconds left. And the bonus light comes on for St. Chris. Tell you, Schreiner's got those long arms. She made her own space with it. Oh, and it goes on the left side of the rim. Oh, here's a break. And there's Challenger with a great rebound, runs the floor, keeps her head up. Oh! And De, De Los Angeles can't hold her feet, can't hold the ball. Outlet to Small, who smartly turns her way. Right. But it rolls off. The instinct is to drive the ball and, and go for the hoop. Chris, 11.3 on the clock, 44-40. The instinct is to drive the ball and go with the hoop, right? But no, she you know, pulls it back hey, out. She turned tied, chewed some more clock. Yep. Inbound pass, and Tanaka with another foul. That gets us into the bonus at last, does it not? Oh, they were already now in the bonus. They were already, they were in, already the in the bonus, that's right. So see, there's McGowan see, going to the, the board. Line. The light bonus, see? Oh, I see it. How about that little arrow? Yep. A little light next to the word bonus tells you that. I think I need some more glasses, Tom. That it's that it's that they're in the bonus. First free throws up. McGowan and gets it to roll. The one and one. McGowan with the hoop. Five and point lead now. Nine point eight seconds. Yep. Forty-five, forty. Elm Street's going to need a three and a prayer. And Purcell calls a timeout. Wants to huddle it. Get your defense in order for either situation, whether it drops in or rolls out and they get a rebound, they're prepared either way. Good coaching by Purcell down the stretch. Yeah. Well, you know what? It looks like it's pretty easy to coach this, that team. They're oh, smart. it is. <laughs> they're smart. <laughs> they're smart. They make everything they, work. They, they do. They, they're fundamentally pretty sound. Yeah. I mean, I'm really impressed. Well, no matter what, and you've been asking the question all night, there are going to be some good players heading to some happy coaches. All right, folks, 9.8 seconds left, 45-40 in the Nashua Middle School City Championship. We'll see where those LNIs end up, right? Those Nashua letters of intent. NLIs, Nashua letters of intent. 45-40, 9.8. McGowan, McGowan for the second of two. Yep. Rolled the first one in. And gets second one. She's been doing a lot of shooting at home, clearly. Tanaka brings it up the right side. Outlet pass. Falls short. That'll do it. That will. McGowan with the rebound. And, and that, that's it. We go to double zeros. The final score, everybody, is St. Christopher's 46, Elm Street 40. St. Chris is your Nashua City Champion for 2000. 23. Fantastic game. I'm Tom King. That's Rich McDonough. Thanks to Tim O'Neill on camera and Dylan Smith, our floor tech, and Pete Johnson, our executive producer. Take care, everybody, and stay tuned for the boys game. That should be an entertaining one. I saw them play earlier. All right. Ready we'll to talk rock to and you roll. Soon. We want to wish